boys. We're back. We're back, and it's time for free agency. We got a big video ahead of us here. All right, we got the off season to do. I was reading the comments in the last video, and there was a ton. Uh, there's people saying move O'Reilly down to the third, keep him on the second, trade him away. All right, so it's all over the place. Now, I don't really want. I didn't want to change the team too much, but I do agree that we need to take another step forward. All right, and we need that sniper. We need that first line sniper. Now. I want to quickly show you guys what I was uh, thinking. I had a lot of you guys saying, uh, bring Kabanoff up, bring Grigorenko up. Boys, they're good little players. They're going to be good prospects for us in the future. But where is it written that young guys have to play, all right? I mean, we have a Stanley Cup winning team. Look at Kabanoff's stats. I mean, they're not bad. As a sniper, they're not bad. But look, mid-80s. I mean, he's got an okay shot power. That's it for offense. He's got mid-80s for defense, mid-80s for athleticism. He's not bad, but... On our team, I want to win the President's Trophy and the Stanley Cup this year. I don't think he's ready to go. Not yet. Not yet, all right? It needs to be at least over 85s in the offensive category for a sniper to play on our first or second line. So I'm going to have to say no to Kabanoff. He gets one more year in the minors. And the same thing with Grigorenko, boys. I mean, I know I, I, know I drafted this guy in the first round of year one, but he's still only 80 overall. He still has his A-, minus, B-, minus, A. Um, he's got a better offensive category than Kavanaugh, but still, again, 83s everywhere. His defensive category, not that good. All right, I, we have better players up there, so these guys aren't ready to go yet. They're just, they're not ready to go. Um, I mean, yeah, we might have to trade them eventually if, if we don't have room for them, but I'm expecting them, once they get better than the players that we have right now, then we can move them over, all right? Maybe when Rick Nash retires, then these guys can take over. I know that's like five, six years from now. I'm not saying that we're, we're going to go that far, but I want to have the best season that we can have, and Grigorenko and Kavanaugh, they're just not good enough to play on our first or second line. All right, and we're going to have a stacked third and fourth line, so they're not going to get any minutes. they got to play on the first or second line, all right? So they're going to play on the AHL team once again. Um, so what I was thinking, I was thinking move down uh, O'Reilly to the third line. I was thinking about that and picking up a better picking up a better sniper for that second line, moving Johansson into the center position, all right? So then we got Landeskog on the right, Johansson in the middle, and then we need that first, uh, that second line left winger, all right? And then we'd only have to pick up uh, one grinder and one defenseman in the offseason. So what I want to do is before we go into free agency, I want to make the trade. I was thinking about this, I know, and I have a player in mind that I really want to pick up for our team, but I want to check out his contract situation See how many years left he has. I know, boys, going a bit crazy here, but I want Taylor Hall. That's right. <laughs> now, let's see what he's all about here. All right, his trade value is not that high. Four years left at 4.375. So he actually fits into our uh, our contract profile and our salary cap profile pretty well. He's not that high up, man. How good is he? How good is he? He's 23 years old, six foot one. He still has his B, uh, B potentials except for athleticism, which is already great. He's good defensively. He's got a great offensive category, all right? He'd be a perfect second-line left winger <laughs> behind Yakupov. Second-line left winger for Taylor Hall, I know. But he would help out our power play and everything. So, I'm going to put this guy on the table, all right? Now, I also want to see, because the defenseman, if I can pick up the defenseman here, that means I don't have to pick him up in free agency. Now, I'm looking at these guys. I don't want any of these guys, but Jeff Schultz. I know his trade value is not that high. He's got a low salary cap, but defensive defenseman, look at that. Look at that defensive category. High 80s, got a good discipline. All right. I mean, he'd be perfect back there on the third line. And he'd be cheaper. He's not as good as Oduya, but he's a lot cheaper than Oduya, almost as half. All right. Uh, and he only has two more years. So his contract would come up the same time that Nash's contract comes up. So we'd have to... We'd save some room uh, being able to sign Rick Nash back. So I think this would be a great trade. Taylor Hall and Jeff Schultz. But we're going to have to put up a lot here. We're going to have to put up a lot. So this is the time now where we, we're going to trade away some of our prospects that we know we're not going to use, okay? Um, it's kind of like the Vancouver trading away, Cody Hodgson. He's getting to the point where he's up there now, but we're, there's no room for him on our team, so let's move him off. Again, same thing for us. O'Reilly's going to go down to the third line for us. We can't trade away Duchesne, Marshawn, O'Reilly, Johansson. We have all these guys for five years each. We're keeping all those guys. But Jonathan Huberdeau, it's time to trade you. Now, I know they got no years left on their contract, but because I've sent them tender qualifying offers, you can trade these guys. Um, I, I'm sure their trade value might go up a little bit higher, but we can trade these guys. Teams will accept them, all right? So we're going to put Huberdeau on the table, all right? 
Uh, Rasmussen, let's check out this guy. Uh, Justin Rasmussen, two-way forward. He has his A-. minus. Uh, we'll hold on to that guy. He could be a prospect. He still has two more years left. A-, minus. he'll definitely get better. Left wingers. Kabanoff. Now, here's the thing. Oh, excuse me. I want to keep Kabanoff and I want to keep Grigorenko. They're two snipers. But if I'm trading for Taylor Hall, I think I can give up Kabanoff, all right? Uh, Taylor Hall is one year older than Kabanoff. So are we really losing anyone here? I think we're just replacing him with a sniper who's ready to go right now. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put Kirill Kabanoff on the table. I know, boys, I know. But it's not a big deal. I mean, look, Kabanoff's 22, Taylor Hall's 23. We're not losing anything here. We're just trading up. Well, Huberto we're losing, but I'm fine with losing Huberto. So we're going to use Kabanoff's trade value to help this trade out a little bit. We still have a lot to go here. We have a lot to go. Uh, Oli, let's check out this guy. I think this guy is a good sniper prospect for us. Yes, he still has his A for uh, offense and a sniper, so he's going to get really good. We're going to hold on to that prospect. Uh, Brabovsky, he's our tough guy prospect. We're going to hold on to him. Right wingers. Now this Shaw guy. I think I want to trade away Shaw. You know why? He's a power forward. We, are, we already have Nash and... Uh, Laying to Skog as our two power forwards. He's got a great offensive category, absolutely. But if we're trading for Taylor Hall, we have our first two lines set up for the future. All right? Remember, they're prospects. Um, we have our team in place. We can afford to trade these guys away now. All right? So let me just keep, uh, continue to go through. He's got great trade value. And I don't want to re-sign him. I don't have the uh, salary cap available to do it. So... I think I want to trade uh, Shaw as well. Shaw and Kavanaugh. Our uh, good Branson, BX, uh, Quint and Pufel. I want to keep these two guys, two young prospects for us as, uh, as what's it called, as defensemen. So, yeah, the one guy I can trade now is Shaw. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Kavanaugh and Shaw and Huberto for uh, Taylor Hall and Schultz. That's crazy. You're trading away two winger prospects. Boys, we can trade them away. All right, they're at the end of their contracts. I don't want to give them one-way contracts, okay? We can trade these guys away now. We can afford to do it. If we're getting Taylor Hall back, a franchise left winger, all right, I mean, okay, so we're really only giving up one winger and Huber Doe, all right, because we're getting Taylor Hall back. But we don't have space for these guys. It's okay to trade them away. Look at our centers. All right, for the next five years, we're set. These guys are going to be at the age of 26 before we have room for them. It's no point in holding on to them. No point. No point. Yakupov and uh, Taylor Hall are going to be our one-two punches the left side. All right, and then the right wingers. We still have Grigorenko waiting in the weeds, and we have Nash and Landeskog. So we still have Grigorenko waiting. So we still have one prospect ready to be on the first or second line. We don't need three prospects, okay? So I think this is a good trade. Huberdo, Kabanoff. Let's just, I want to see the trade values here. Uh, yeah, Taylor Hall's trade value is kind of up there. So, But I don't want to mess around like you guys said. So, hang on, hang on. So, Jeff Schultz is, uh, Huberto's covered by Schultz, but then Kavanaugh co covers Schultz, uh, yeah, Kavanaugh covers Schultz, and then a little bit towards Hall and Shaw a little bit as well. So, I don't think they'll accept this deal, so, but I don't think it's that bad that they'll, they'll get mad at it. Hang on, is there anyone else that can just add to it? There's our timer. So, we'll do the trade in this video. <clears throat> Oli, I want to keep Oli. Uh, Carol... What's this Carroll guy about? Let's see what he's all about. Power forward. Okay, so here's a, another power forward who's taken over for Shaw. All right? He's one year younger, and um, he has got he doesn't have the A-, minus, but he's got the Bs everywhere, so he'll be better defensively, and I like that. He's a great, he's a great little player, this Shaw guy, but he's got great trade value, and we can trade him away. Uh, is there anyone? This Carrick guy we might be able to trade away. Uh, Trevor Carrick. Oh, he's got great defensive potential. I really like that. Uh, but we do have two other prospects in Pufel and Quint. And this guy, ooh, he's got the better offensive category. I'd rather actually keep the other guy. This guy's got better uh, and a better offensive category, but he's a defensive defenseman. This guy's got an A for offense defense, and he's one year younger. Uh, sorry, A for defensive defenseman. He's already in the mid-80s. I like my defensive defenseman to have stacked defensive category. That's how their overall get really good. All right, so you know what we'll do? Uh, yeah, you know, we can trade these guys down here. They got some trade value. Uh, Riley Miller, tough guy. Yeah, we can trade this Riley Miller guy. I just want to add some players to the deal. We don't need these players, boys. I know what you're thinking. Holy crap, what are you doing? We don't need these players, all right? We don't need them. I've rebuilt before. With all the players that I have on my team, I can easily trade one of them away for, like, another four top prospects that produce in the next four years, just like we did with the Carter trade. 
All right, so I mean, we're giving them five 22 year olds and one 20 or four 22 year olds and one 20 year old. These two guys are just to make it that the trade is not insulting because I don't want it to get any worse. But we're giving up Shaw, Kabanoff, and Huberdo for Taylor Hall and Jeff Schultz. And then that way we can go out and sign Tiomo Rutu, hopefully, and we'll be good. We'll be good. Uh, the salary cap's going to take a hit, but whatever. Whatever. Maybe we won't be able to sign uh, Tomo Rutu, but we can settle for someone someone not as good. But if we're getting Taylor Hall, our first two lines, and our power play with the sniper now, it's going to be set. All right, boys, so I'm willing to do this trade. Will it go through? Yes, it will. The Edmonton Oilers fans are going to be cheering in the streets when we announce this deal. I'll take deals like this any day of the week. So there you go, boys. I've done it. I've done it. I've said goodbye to, I've said goodbye to, uh, what's his face, Kabanoff and Shaw, and welcome Taylor Hall to the Columbus Blue Jackets. Ha ha ha. We're a stacked team now, boys. So now it's time to go into free agency. We got our defenseman. We got our one winger. Now it's just time for that one grinder because O'Reilly's being put down to the third line. All right, so unrestricted free agents. Uh, where is it? Uh, okay, so it's Tomorutu, and yes, we can afford Tomorutu now. Uh, well, we can barely afford him, but no one, no, no other team wants him right now. So I'm going to offer you three years at 4.65. Let's see if he accepts that. Hopefully he does accept that. Uh, any young guns? Okay, these two guys. going to sign these two young guns. Uh, look, here's the here's the replacement of the two wingers that I just traded. A minus B, B. Like, you just get them right back in free agency, man. It's all good. It's all good. So Howard Terreri, there you go. And this guy Grinder. Oh, I love Grinders. Hell yeah, baby. Sign this guy as well. There you go. We'll hold off on all these guys because I want to make sure I get to Omorutu without going over my roster limits. I know I only have 33 players under contract, but just to be sure. All right, come on, Root two. We need the Rutu train. We need the Rutu train. Come on, Rutu. Come on, Rutu. All right. All right, Rutu hasn't answered us yet. Come on. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Didn't mean to go back to free agents. Come on, Rutu. We need the Rutu train. We need the Rutu train, part of the Columbus Blue Jackets. Yes, Toba Rutu is part of our team. So we've done it, boys. The three players that we got that we needed, Tomo Rutu, Taylor Hall, and uh, Schultz. The Chris Schultz, I don't know what his first name is. So we're good. We don't need to get Oduya. We save some money. All right, we're good. These uh, unrestricted free agents are uh, very expensive. Uh, hang on, let me see if there's any young goalies I can sign. Yeah, look, find a goalie with an a, a good reflexes potential. Uh, there's not really anyone, eh? Ah, none of them have. Oh, this guy does. He's 24 years old, but he still has his B. There you go. And we'll sign just the top guy. Yeah, we'll sign this guy, whatever. Just filling in the ranks now with some young prospects. <sighs> Excuse me. I know you guys are going to be going crazy over that trade. I know, boys, but I think it was a good trade. I think it was a good trade. We're better now. We still have our young prospects of the future, all right? We still have Grigorenko waiting down low, all right? And, I mean, we don't need... <laughs> we have players right now who are going to be on our team for the next five years. We just don't have room for Kavanaugh and Shaw, all right? We made that trade... Early in year one for those guys. I didn't expect all of them to turn out good. Huberto as well, we traded away. All right, so, I mean, it's just wheeling and dealing. If we had injuries on, you know, you might want to keep those guys, but we don't have injuries on, and I don't want to switch to injuries. Uh, there you go. Sign a bunch of these guys, these young prospects. Gagnon, there you go. All right, so, because our timer went, let's go to the edit line screen so you guys can see the new Columbus Blue Jackets. Oh my goodness, we're going to be deadly this year. We are going to be deadly. Uh, all these guys signed. Yep, blup, blup, blup. All right, so we got everyone. Um, now, we still have a few guys with tender qualifying offers. Let's see if they accept the qualifying offer. Uh, yeah, Quince, he accepted our qualifying offer, so he's back on our team. That's good. Joe Hansen, he accepted our qualifying offer. No other team sent them uh, ten. No other team sent them offer sheets, so that's good. I think that Torstenson guy, our goalie, still has to accept it. But that's another that's another reason I traded Shaw and uh, Cabin off away, guys. Because I would have to sign them to one-way contracts, all right? Or if another team sent them uh, a qualifying offer, I wouldn't have been able to trade them away. So trade them away while you can. If I would have signed them to one-way contracts, then I might not have been able to get Tomo Rutu, right? And I would have had to wait a few days 
to uh, see it. And by that time, Tomorutu might have been picked up by another team. I wanted to make sure I got my sniper, I wanted to make sure I got my grinder, and I wanted to make sure I got my third line defenseman. And I got all three, alright? So I think it was a good move. It was a good move. It was a bit of a crazy move. I know, I know, but we kept Grigorenko. It's all good. It's all good. So I just, I just want to show you guys the lines now. I just want to show you the lines, see what we look like. All right, all right, all right. So here we are. Go to roster moves. All right, get this whole thing sorted out. Uh, all right, so defensemen, our six defensemen. Hamnick, Goodbranson, DeHaan, Jeff Schultz. It's not Chris Schultz. Jeff Schultz, Bieksa, and Murray. There you go, Quint, you go down. All right, so there's our six defensemen. It's looking good. It's looking good. Uh, right wingers, Nash, Landeskog, Rutu, Grigorenko. You're going back down to the minors. All right, we're bringing Moss up. All right, Grigorenko back down to the minors. You're going to have a great year down there. Yakupov, Hall, <laughs> Ott. Uh, yeah, that's fine there. And then the centers, Duchesne, O'Reilly, Johansson, Marshawn, McClements. Yep, is there anyone else? No, I can't send anyone else down. Goaltenders, Markstrom and O'Neal. That's the only thing now. We don't have a backup goalie. Um... Yeah, we don't have a backup goalie. That's all right. Markstrom will hold it down. Markstrom will hold it down. We still have 1.485, so maybe we can uh, get one at the trade deadline or something like that, you know? Uh, edit lines manually. You know what? Hang on a sec. Edit lines manually. Hang on. No, no, no. Back out. Okay, best line. Sorry. Let me just go back into free agency. Let's see if there's any... Uh, come on, autosave. Oh, jeez. Look at this. EA Sports put a goddamn option to turn autosave off. Let's go back into free agency. Let's see, let's see if there's any 80 overall goaltenders that we can have as our backup. I want to make sure our goaltending average is at least semi-good. Uh, goalies, Torsonson, accept my damn offer, you jerk. Yeah, Torsonson would be the best goalie. Why doesn't he accept my offer? All right, yeah, I'll give you a one way at, geez, at 9, 9.9 9 mil. All right. Let me just simulate a few days here. See if this guy comes back to our team. We could use another super sweet as our backup. All right, Charlie Torsonson's back on the team. Very nice. Very nice. So roster moves. Goaltender. All right, so we got Torsonson now as our backup. That looks good. All right, it's a lot better than a mid-70s. And we got, can we send anyone else down? No, we can't. All right, so everyone should be up here. So here's the question now. Do we use uh, Yakupov on the first line now, or do we leave uh, Taylor Hall? Because now we got the power forward, playmaker, sniper combination. All Canadian boys up there. All right, does Yakupov take a back seat to Taylor Hall now? I don't know. That's something you guys can decide. Um, they're saying to put O'Reilly on the second line still with Yakupov and Landeskog and put Johansson down here. That's up in the air as well. I like Johansson's offensive rating more than O'Reilly's. But O'Reilly has the better face-off rating. So he's, he's pretty good offensively as well and not as good as Johansson. So for right now, I'll put it like that, all right? Two playmakers and a power forward. But you guys can comment away on that, all right? Uh, the third and fourth line, it's going to be Ott. No, it's not, it's not going to be Ott. It's going to be Marshawn, O'Reilly, and Rutu. Very nice looking. Look at all those two-way forwards, man. 85, 85, 88. Our third line is just disgusting now. And then our good old fourth line, McClements, Ott, and Moth, uh, Moss. Nothing too uh, special, but McClements and uh, Ott are two great grinders. Mid-80s, great grinders down there. All right, so we got a great team we have. Defensemen, uh, Good Branson and Hamannick. Yep, Schultz and Hahn. And uh, Murray and BX. I think I want to do something like where BX comes up here. BX is a lot better than Schultz in the offensive category. Two-way defensemen, remember their overalls are always a lot worse because you got to have good in both categories. Jeff Schultz, he's a defensive defenseman, so it doesn't matter about his offensive category. Uh, so, yeah, you, you guys can uh, help me out with that. The lines, the power play. Now we have a sniper on our first line power play, which is going to be great. All right. And our penalty kill. They're, they're saying put Taylor Hall in the penalty kill. What the f What the hell? Um, so, I mean, we can have guys like Tomo Rutu now. Uh, O'Reilly. We can have a bunch of great guys. Like, we can go we can go uh, O'Reilly because he's on the third line. He's got to get some penalty kill minutes. And uh, Tomo Rutu, right? Oh, just looking great now. Looking great. So, let me know, boys. The lines are up for grabs. What should we do? What should we do? The And the uh, Springfield lines look like this. Uh, Grigorenko is up there on the first line, so he's going to get tons of points up there this year. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, Quince up there as well. Very nice, very nice, very nice. And last but not least, let's just check out our uh, team reports. 
what were we last year? Uh, we were a 100, 100. Oh, I forget what our goalie, uh, our goaltender situation was. It's probably not going to be as good this year because we don't have Nabokov as our backup. But that's okay. That's okay. So coaching options, team reports. Looks like that. 99 overall. Our goaltending is 92. All right. So we're looking good, boys. So what do you think about those two trades or that one trade? Giving away Shaw and Kavanaugh. What do you think? Let me know, boys. Let me know. And year five is coming up next.